guys welcome back to another studio vlog um we have a slightly different background i mean if you if you're new here you won't know that this is a new background but this is new it looks so much better i in last week's vlog i added up all of the artwork i'm just going to show you a little bit here i know i'm blocking it <laughs> how i just i'm so happy with it and i feel like it really just adds something better to look at because my backgrounds before weren't top notch you know so yeah i'm really really happy with how this looks and i got a really really exciting delivery at the end of last week my new charms my new collection are here and we're gonna peel them because peeling them is the most satisfying thing ever and we're gonna peel them in a minute um i don't know why i was holding it like that like a baby <laughs> i'm just so excited i love when these things arrive it's terrifying waiting for them because i always feel like I've done something wrong, like it's just a worry of mine. I'm also sorry for my hair. I normally have it down, but it's annoying me today. So we have it in a ponytail, but it's it's just not my, my best look, but we're gonna go with it. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well. Like I said, welcome back to another studio vlog. I'm hoping that this week is a little bit more exciting. I'm gonna be putting in a little bit of extra love into these videos now, just trying different angles. I normally use this little tripod here, which is like the Gorilla Pod or something. Um, that came with this camera and I normally pop it on the desk and you get like a view of like my boring cabinet here and then my hallway which I feel like is not the best view so now I have a big tripod in front of me and I use that because I can get this angle and you can see all these beautiful if you want to know what any of these are from please just comment below and I will tell you I'll send you to the right place because yeah I just love the work so much and um, there is more up here let me show you yeah there's a lot of small business goodies and soon this wall's going to be full and i'm really excited let me put this down so yeah that's my wall i've blabbed on about that enough now we are gonna get to peeling some charms now because i love that so much and you can see the design so let's get into it <laughs>
guys welcome to tuesday i managed to do all my charms yesterday well peel them um let me show you so we've got we've got the little koala which is so cute i'm so happy with it and then we've also got rocket ship i'm so happy with both of these i think they've come out so lovely um and i've only got one second of each which my mum has claimed of course my mum's claimed them, she always seems to claim those first. Yeah, so I've got quite a few of these. I need to work on adding the rings and the keychains and designing some packaging for them, uh, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I'm gonna give myself a break from the keychains and I think I'm gonna do a bit of drawing. I am feeling quite creative. I just got off a really lovely chat with Nikki from Nikki Illustrates and we had a little Zoom call, um, just caught up with each other, um, spoke about life, health, work like bounced off each other a little bit and I'm, I'm really feeling like I want to draw so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to do that DTI wise I was mentioning I was going to do because I'm not sure what I'd draw if I didn't have that inspiration but I'm really looking forward to doing that so we're going to get on and do some drawing I don't know if I'll get it finished today um because I haven't even done a sketch but I'm going to take you along with the process and yeah hopefully have a nice little illustration at the end of it so yeah let's do some doodling <laughs> So I've just popped you up on the windowsill because I really don't want to sort the tripod out right now. Um, and you're just a bit higher, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm watching uh, the lovely Emily Harvey on live stream. Um, not live stream, Instagram live, kind of live streaming. And yeah, I just wanted to say that I think I'm gonna call it the end of the day because I'm tired and I'm really finding it difficult right now. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs>
Hello guys. Yesterday was a little bit of a write off and I'm still a little bit tired today. Um, I don't talk about it too much on here but basically I have a couple of health conditions that mean I struggle quite a lot um, and it is the main reason I started this business because it meant I could get a proper balance and bring in a bit of money that you know I wasn't able to before. So yeah I'm not going to go into detail with it but I was just having a bit of an off day yesterday but I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, I did manage though to make some little freebie stickers which you would have seen. I don't know if I showed you like a close up but here's the little sticker. I think they're so cute. I made quite a few of them um, because I just wanted to make a little freebie to go into orders. So I've got a little little pile of them here. So I'm going to have these for a little while. I did used to have this little hamster that said, have the best day. But I started to get orders again from people and I always felt bad sending out the same sticker. So I thought if I change it up a little bit, it's just like a little extra thank you. I always think it's nice. But as you would have seen, I actually received a very exciting order this morning. Um, of some new stationery for my new collection. Well, one is for the older collection, uh, which is there is good in every day, you just need to find it. And the other is for the Reach for the Stars collection, which will be launching in the next few weeks. I'm gonna sort out a date and make some artwork um, to announce that. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you it because I'm so, so happy with it. So the first thing is the weekly planner and I'll do um, a little off cut. Off cut, what are they called? When you show like another bit of video. I'll do an overlay video of showing you this properly. But it is a weekly planner and it has a Monday through to Sunday and then it's got a little highlight section for you to kind of look back on your week and find the good things because that's what the collection is all about and it's just like reminding you that even though some weeks are rubbish, I'm definitely feeling that this week, like looking back on that week and realising what was good. So like my Kickstarter is doing really well, um, I reached over 60 backers, um, what else has happened this week? I had a bath that I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, just picking up on those little things and putting them down so that you can look back at the end of the week and you know feel better about it. So that's the first one. We've got 50 sheets in here. Such lovely quality as well. I'm so, so happy with this. And then for the new collection, this is the one I was most scared about because I wasn't sure how the artwork was gonna come out. But this is my Reach for the Stars collection and it's got a galaxy print as the background. So, We've got a to-do list, top goals, notes and doodles, because I didn't want to line it, because I'm definitely a doodler, so I feel like if there's space, I'll probably do it, or if I get random idea, then I want somewhere to put it down, and normally this would be like on my desk or something, so I thought that made sense to do that. Um, then we've got contact with a phone call and an email, um, and then we've also got today's highlight, because again, I just wanted to bring that positivity to the day. It's part of a different collection, but it's still good to look back and find those positives. Um, so that's that. And again, I'll do a, a little side one for you. But I just love the stars. I think they're so nice. Yeah, so that's the... Ow. <laughs> that really hurts. Yeah, that's the planners, the new planners. I'm really, really happy with them. I need to go through them all and check they've all been cut correctly and things. So yeah, these are... Really good, I'm really happy with them. We're gonna go through them and I'm gonna put them in their cello bags to keep them safe, um, all biodegradable, of course. So yeah, we're gonna do that and then just see where the day takes me. Really, so, yeah. <laughs>
So I'm having a little bit of an issue, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, so the A5 planners have been put in these cello bags and they have loads of room either side because these are C C5, so it's slightly bigger than A5 um, packaging. But A4 planners don't fit in the C4 packaging. So I'm a little bit annoyed because my biggest worry is that if things get like wet in the post, but I think that literally like never happens. I think I'm like making that up. Like I know obviously things sometimes get wet, but not to the point of everything's damaged, you know? There's a few, a few people have the same problem and they use non biodegradable cello. And I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna do a bit of research, see if I can find things a little bit bigger. But I did just kind of, pre-wrap it because i want to protect it from dust and stuff i did use one of my new stickers too because i thought it was cute and it is kind of a it is recyclable tissue paper but it is kind of um feels like protective so i think i'm gonna do it like this unless i find anything else and then anything that i can put in the cello i will i suppose it was just a little worry of mine that it might not be as like professional but someone said to me like there's not necessarily need things like a lot of people pack cards naked they pack you know there's a lot of things that have no packaging now they just put in the sending box or the envelope whatever they're sending it in um because people aren't touching them in shops and things so i think that's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna speak to aaron later when he's home from work and see what he thinks um i really don't think it's an issue and plus i think the tissue paper does look quite nice to be honest yeah this is a seconds one so i have just put a little second sticker on it so that i know um but i just want to protect them from the dust yeah if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments below uh did that make sense? Did I say that right? Please leave them in the comments below. I don't know what's wrong with me today. So yeah, let's get on with it. <laughs> guys welcome to friday now it's very late on friday because i've been working kind of on and off through the day um but i've made some backing cards for the key rings that i showed you at the beginning of the week well i showed you the charms of me peeling them um but they are going to be key rings um so i made some backing cards so we've got this one for the koala the hold on this will pass and it's just just stripy yellow um, I wasn't sure what else to do because it depends if the item has like a theme around it. So this one I just went with yellow stripes. And then I also did uh, the one for the rocket which says reach for the stars and it's got key ring underneath it. So it's just, um, it's got a couple of clouds and then the rocket will hang kind of here. I do have like a actual version that I can show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with how they've come out. I don't know, am I wonky? I feel like I'm a little bit wonky. There we go. Also, sorry about the stuff behind me. I normally move these, but I don't currently have anywhere else to put them. So yeah, here are how they look all packaged. I've got them in cello bags. Um, let me get rid of the reflection for you. So this is the rocket one, and then the key ring just hangs here, and we've got a little compostable cello marking. And then here is the koala. So yeah, there's the koala. Just says hold on, this will pass, and the key ring. And again, same on the back. Um, but I'm so, so happy with them. I have four now, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. And yeah, I think I'm going to call it the end of the studio vlog because it is now, goodness me, half past nine. Um, thank goodness for soft boxes. <laughs> thank goodness for soft boxes. What is wrong with me this week? It's just, it's been a long one. I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's studio vlog. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're excited about. And yeah, in next week's vlog, I'm going to be packaging more of those key rings um, and then just, just getting ready to launch because, oh, 
speaking of that, I have a launch day, uh, which is the 18th of February, so two weeks yesterday, so 13 days, and all of the new stuff is going to be launching, so I'm really excited about that. It is also your last week when this goes out to pledge for my Kickstarter. It will be finished by the time the next vlog goes out, so the link will be in my bio. Please go have a look if you want to pledge for my little pin. So this is the little design. Yeah, so this is the size that the pin's going to be. I am... So excited about this. So if you'd like to pledge, again, the link is in my bio. Um, just go have a read, read about the project. Um, the whole collection is about encouraging you to reach for your goals and dreams. And just, I love to create positive things. So I feel like this very much is that. Um, but yeah, I think I've covered everything. I really, really hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog and I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>